Hey guys, this is Paul Potter and today I'm going to be talking about using old school techniques along with new modern techniques to catch more crappie and it's coming up right now in this video. So if you're addicted to crappie fishing just like I am, go ahead and slap that subscribe button and give me a like by hitting the thumbs up below. So one of the things I want to talk about today is the old school techniques that our grandpas used to use and whatnot before we had all this modern technology like side scan, down scan, sonar, those types of things. Some of the best fishermen out there actually use, still use the old school techniques that were taught to us by our elders and our grandparents. And then we also incorporate the newer technology with side scan and down scan and those types of things in there as well. So tip number one for today is barometric pressure. So what the theory is of barometric pressure is basically says that when the barometric pressure is low, there is less pressure on the fish. It's almost like gravity. The, the gravity has lifted off of the fish, which allows them to move around more freely. They get more active. They feed better. It's an all around good time to fish. Some of the best times to fish is actually right before a storm or on a cloudy day when you see clouds in the sky and it almost looks like a drainy, drizzly day. The barometric pressure is actually lower on those days, which is actually a really good time to fish. Okay, crappie fishing secret number two is the wind, watching the wind. So one of the things that my grandpa used to do was he would always watch the wind. Which way is the wind blowing? Because the wind is actually gonna blow bait, food, plankton, and everything. It's gonna shift it in the water and move it back into a cove or whatever. So I'll give you an example. Let's say that the wind is blowing to the east okay and you have a cove right by a channel that is on the east side and this wind is blowing straight up into this cove basically it is pushing all the fish all the plankton and the bait fish are going to follow up in there and what's going to happen is all the crappie the bass even catfish are going to follow those bait fish okay crappie fishing secret number three and this is an old school one that a lot of people still use today but some people still don't know about it and that is watching the bird birds have to eat so i looked it up a pelican actually has to eat four pounds of fish per day so you tell me if you don't have a fish finder what's the best way you can use to actually find a fish watch the pelicans these things eat a lot so one of the things that I actually look for a lot of times is I'll drive by a bridge, uh, for example, Bernice Bridge here at Grand Lake. If I see pelicans sitting on that bridge piling, I automatically know that there's gonna be fish there. And what I'm gonna do is go take my modern technology, like my down scan, my sonar, and I'm gonna go drive by and see if these fish know something that I don't. And I'm gonna tell you, 90% of the time, when you see pelicans sitting on a bridge piling like that, looking down, they have found some sand bass or crappie there, or bait fish, there's a lot of bait fish, and where there's bait fish, there's crappie. So the birds are very smart and they know how to find fish better than we do, absolutely. Okay, so those are the fall crappie fishing secrets I have for you today. Use your old school methods that, I've, that you've learned today and use that modern technology that you also have and go catch some fish with it, okay? Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.